What's going on everybody? It's Salty Trico here. And immediately you can probably tell that my mic sounds 20 times better. It's not because I got a new mic, it's just because I decided to move away from my old recording location. Because when I was over there, I had two options. One, be next to my, uh, right next to my laptop fan, which was super loud and annoying and made a really annoying humming noise that I'm pretty sure none of you liked. And the other option was to go over on the other side of my desk, which was right next to the uh, wall, and get really intense echoing. And I decided to just try a new location. Um, and <laughs> I'm going to be completely honest with you, the mic sounds like 20 times better. It actually kind of sounds like my real voice, instead of being intensely screwed up by my location. So I'm sure you guys are done with me talking, let's just get into the battle. So today I'm playing Proto Lugia, and oh my gosh, I forgot to turn the music off. That is loud. Holy crap! <laughs> so anyway, uh, I'm gonna leave off my claw witzer. He's gonna go into the Braviary and just immediately U-turn. Um, I'm a Salt Vest claw witzer, so I know I can probably take a uh, take a Volt Switch from this if he decides to go for it, which he does. Bam! And I live on Shut five dodge. health. Just because Vickable's special defense is just or special attack is just so insanely high. Boing. So, I just went for the water pulse. Bad play on my part. I've played a really bad this game. I get the confusion. Doesn't really matter. But he's going to be able to finish me off with the ice shard, which was just pretty annoying. So, that's going to be the claw witzer down. He did absolutely nothing in this battle. Uh, yeah, the common theme of this battle is uh, me playing actually horribly. He's going to go in the incineroar, and because I'm playing badly today, I'm going to go for the fire that's blast. No good. And it does nothing because incineroar with assault vest is really bulky. So I'm like, mm, I don't want to stay in anything this thing's going to hit me with. I'm going to go into Minier. He goes for the knockoff. It does so much damage. I'm like, oh my gosh. He gets rid of my White Horb. And, white Horb. White Herb. And I, I, I say that a lot. I say White Horb so much. I don't know why. But it's also going to bring me down out of my uh, out of my shields down. So I'm just fortunately going to kill the Incineroar. That thing could have potentially been annoying. So the Obama is going to come back in. I'm like, well, I don't want to take a nice shard. So I'm going to go into Magma Order here. Ice Shard does not much at all. I'm thinking, mm, well, I think he's gonna, gonna not want to stay in here, so he decides to actually switch into the Vickavolt. I'm like, okay, that's cool, that's kind of what I was hoping. But then he goes for Bug Bugs, I'm like, oh, oh yeah, my plan was a little bit flawed right there. So, <laughs> yeah, that was a mistake. I know he's not gonna want to stay into a Stone Edge, so I'm gonna take this time to set up a Shell Smash. And I'm like, uh... Honestly, Minion is not going to do much for the rest of this team, and Earthquake does about 70%, but honestly, that's pretty good considering how much defense an Evil Light Rhydon has. Honestly, this thing should be an Ari, <laughs> nah. But, um, Big of Old, just going to finish it off. I am a Life Orb. So, I know the Braviary is going to come in here just because nothing else really wants to come in on this thing. So, I'm like, well, I can live a Brave Bird. So, Brave Bird does 70%, and I'm going to take this time to go for an agility here. I'm like, well, I could probably outspeed this thing. I got about three more oh, hits yeah. in me. Ah, no, so, no, then he no, outspeeds me and go for, for Brave Bird again. I'm like, oh, crap. This thing's Choice Scarf, isn't it? So, I'm going to go into Sigil up here. And I'm like, well, this thing's not going to stay in, right? So, I'm going to go for the Cosmic Power. And I'm going to be able to set up one of those. The Obama Snow comes in. I'm like, oh, Blizzard's going to do a lot of damage. I'm like, eh, I'm just gonna go for the, um, for, like, Cosmic Power again, just to, just to get my defenses up. This thing goes for Blizzard, oh my gosh, it is so much, this thing is 53%. I think Obama Snow got banned from PU, I think it's in PU ban list now, or Borderline, at least. Um, yeah, I was kinda expecting that, honestly. But, I think Obama Snow is really a staple on you, Pokemon, especially because it's the only Mega in the tier, and... I, I just don't see why they dropped it to PU. This battle actually took place before it dropped. This was actually still an NU. Because all my battles right now are from a long time ago. Until we get to uh, some of the more recent battles in the future. So the hell is going to stop right now. Uh, I'm going to stored power. I could get a crit, but this thing was on 4 health. I'm like, ah, dang it. Draco Meteor to 40%. I'm like, oh man, yes. So I'm going to take this time to set up even more cosmic powers. And Draco Meteor does absolutely nothing. I'm like, mmm, this is going to do so little damage. I'm going to go for a Roost, get back all that yummy HP. I don't know why on, on this set I decided to put Flame Orb even though I didn't carry Psycho Shift. I think it's because it was, a, it was an older set that I just decided to change up a bit. 
But anyway, this guy made a really bad misplay by keeping the alone executor in. I think he went for a Draco Meteor twice because he wanted me to just finish him off, but I'm like, nah, I'm just gonna keep setting up on you. Because we know how well that's gone in the past for me, so I'm gonna go for the Roost here. Uh, get back all that HP. Draco Meteor to 6%. I'm like, oh my gosh, that's so little. Let's put this thing out of his misery. I killed that multiple times just by doing that. So here he's going to bring in the Vicavolt. I'm like, ah, well, I'm just going to outspeed his, take it out. It just dies. <laughs> it, it, like, it, it just dies. So when it comes to Braviary here, I'm like, mm, it's going to outspeed me. Let's see how much damage it does. It does not even 20%. I'm like, oh, that's so tasty. Time for you to die, though. So the Braviary <laughs> just dies, too. And the guy's like, well, I don't want to actually lose the battle. That would be embarrassing. So now he's going to forfeit. And I, I like this battle so much because I played so terribly, but but I just got carried by Sigil. If Sigil have just carried me really hard. But anyway, that's going to be it for this battle, guys. Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later.